and a special heavyweight co-feature from Convention Hall in Philadelphia. Charles Sonny Liston, the number one heavyweight challenger, battles Albert Westfall from Hamburg, Germany. Promoter, Championship Sports, Tom Poland, President. And now, to Convention Hall in Philadelphia and Les Kiter. Good evening, boxing fans. From Convention Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, tonight it's the 10-round heavyweight battle matching Sonny Liston, the number one contender in the NBA honor. Sonny Liston. You see Westfall from Hamburg, Germany, twice the heavyweight champion of Germany. And tonight he takes on in Sonny Liston, the man who hopes to fight Floyd Patterson for the heavyweight title next summer. Westfall with his trainer at ringside. And in there with him is Tom Fort, his manager, the gentleman taking off his robe. And also in the corner, Sonny Sharon and Bobby Gleason, the veteran boxing manager and promoter who once handled Ace Armstrong and Phil Turin over the featherweight champ. And coming in the ring on the left side of your screen now is Sonny Liston, reputed to be the most feared man in boxing at any weight. Liston, who has won 32 out of 33 fights, 22 by knockout, and Westfall, who has won a total of 24 fights in 34. One uh, a bit of irony, Liston tonight is making his hometown debut, the first time he has ever fought in Philadelphia. And in the ring with Sonny, you see Willie Reddish, his chief second, one-time Philadelphia heavyweight, along with Joe Polino and Gene Johnson. Liston, this afternoon at the weigh-in, came in at 212 and a quarter pounds, Westfall 195. And as you will recognize, Liston towers over his opponent, standing six feet and a half inch, while Westfall five feet seven and one half inches. 22 of Liston's 33 victories have been by knockout, and his only defeat, that by Marty Marshall, early in his career, he later gained revenge. He lost to Marshall in Detroit, September 7, 1954, and then knocked Marshall out in Pittsburgh in 1956. The referee that you see over in the corner talking to the ring announcer is the veteran Zach Clayton, whose first major fight as a referee was the Joe Walcott, Ezra Charles heavyweight championship battle in Pittsburgh. Westfall chatting with his manager, Tom Fort, Good evening, ladies and, and into gentlemen. the ring. Tonight's bout, under the promotion of the Championship Sports Incorporated, supervised by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission, James Crowley, chairman, the other members of the commission from Pittsburgh, Paul Sullivan, the local member, Alfred E. Klein. The officials appointed by the commission for tonight's bouts, judging Jimmy Mina, Nick Spano, counting for the knockdowns, Joe Servino, timekeeper J.J. Harrington, the commission doctors in attendance at the ringside, Dr. Wilbur Strickland and Dr. Alfred Ayala, Jr., your referee, Zach Clayton. This bout, 10 rounds, wearing black trunks, weighing 195 pounds, from Germany, Albert Westfall. And his opponent wearing white trunks with black stripes, weighing 212 and one quarter pounds, from Philadelphia, Charles Sonny Liston. 10 rounds. Well, he understands a little English, but speaks to him very slow. Okay? Both of you men received your instructions this afternoon in the Boston Commissioner's office. So therefore, there's very little I can add. I want you to protect yourself at all times because you're on your own. In the event of a knockdown, the fellow getting knocked down, I want him to take an eight second count. Kneeling or standing, it makes no difference. The fellow scoring the knockdown, I want him to go to the furthest neutral corner, remain there till he's told to doom fighting. If he come out beforehand, I'll chase him back. 
three knockdowns in any given round, the fight's automatically over. That clear to you, Liston? That clear to you, what's for? Any questions, Liston? Any questions, what's for? Good luck to both of you. Come out fighting at the bell. Big hands now. Fighters ready, Sonny Liston in the white trunks, Albert Westfall in the black. The ring announcer, Pete Byron. And here we go with round number one. That was the 10 second warning. Liston, reputedly one of the finest left jabs among recent heavyweights. It was the left jab that landed, another one pushed Westfall back. Liston taking all those punches on the gloves. That left jab, snake-like. Westfall's first punch landing right high in the head, but he got out of there in a hurry. Westfall seems to respect Liston and that left hand. Sonny Liston, who has knocked out 22 of his 33 opponents. <clears throat> Westfall has 12 KOs. Westfall moving counterclockwise to avoid that left hand. tries to time up but gets out of there in a hurry. Westfall missing some of his punches in this first round. Liston making them count. Westfall has never been knocked off his feet until now. That's the first time Westfall has ever been on the floor. Count is six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The fight is over in the first round. Albert Westfall caught a combination left and right, and as you saw, the right set him down. First on his haunches, nose into the canvas, and then out and over on his back. Albert Westfall knocked out in the first round by Sonny Liston, who by virtue of this one round KO tonight has taken a long step toward a fight with Floyd Patterson. Westfall beginning to come around. Boy, he caught a left and right combination that upended him and the lights went out 